Okay, we made it to Redmond Salt. Had a beautiful drive through central Utah. Such a beautiful agricultural area. And we get to step on this bus and we get to go on a tour. We're so excited to find out where the salt that we love so much comes from. From here, it's a short drive to where we start underground. We'll do the tour first. Uh, and we'll once we hit the portal a quarter of a mile or less away, we'll drive underground for about two miles but not straight vertical, two miles on a 5% decline. Where we get out, we're gonna be about 500 feet uh, in straight in the ground. We'll get out of the bus, I'll talk about a lot of things and welcome any questions that you folks might have there. If you have questions as we're driving down in the mine, <clears throat> you're free to ask them, but a lot of people in the back of the bus won't be able to hear me, so kind of hold the questions until we stop and get out the best you can. This is my uh, old tour bus, I retired it, and this weekend I had a group and I ran my new bus out of fuel. <laughs> so you guys, until they get that going for me, you guys are in a uh, special case. <laughs> When it's really dark, like you'll find some spots that are like almost black. That's manganese, and manganese kind of makes our salt a little sweeter. That's why our salt's not so bitter like white salt, because it has manganese in it. Yep. It'll, it'll even be like black. It's the only way to keep these valuable minerals in the salt, and they're so good for us and our animals, is by rock mining it in this method. Unfortunately, most salts on the market today are evaporated off of salt water, whether it's the ocean, the Great Salt Lake, the Dead Sea, or solution mine. They're drilling down in deep into a salt deposit, pushing water in, eroding the salt, pumping it back out, and then evaporating the water off of it. Anytime those are the processes, you've lost all those valuable minerals. But I can tell you that there is products out there that are called natural sea salt uh, that are for human use, food grade, that are evaporated off of our oceans today. Now make this comparison. Do you want to put something on your table for you and your family to eat that has, like this, that has been in the earth, not exposed for, to pollutants or contaminants for millions of years, or something that is evaporated off of our oceans today? I know how much pollutants are in that ocean, right. so it's a no-brainer to me, yep. you know, which is the healthier choice. Because right. all we're doing is taking this and crushing it, right? Grind, crushing it to the granular size and packaging. So any of you uh, want to get into the hunting gathering lifestyle, take your souvenir pieces over your meal tonight and just do that. See that fine's coming off? <laughs> and, yeah. you're, and you're doing your own thing. Right. I'm going to eat some nice salt. You're your own salt grinder. Yep, your own salt grinder. <laughs> so we're going to do a blackout. They're going to turn off uh, the car lights and we're going to see how deep and dark and scary it gets in here. Oh, there's one. There's one light. Oh, there's another light. Hi, guys. <laughs> I want to take a nap right now. It's nice and cool, dark. It would be so quiet. Well, if, if the truck wasn't, if Special K wasn't making all the noise.
Dante, Dante, yeah. Okay, now Cade's gonna do it. He's a lefty. He's a le oh, that's like even more interesting for me to teach. And then just squeeze the trigger and slowly, and it'll fire. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just gotta breathe. Remember to breathe. Okay, remembering to breathe. Yellow, right? We're shooting below. You're right at the base of it. Just right at the base of it. Oh, okay, it's right there. Fire in the hole. This is the garlic salts for animals. So it's got a garlic extract that helps decrease pests and fly pressure. And so the salt is mixed outside with that garlic extract. It says it like burns your nose and your eyes because it's so strong. So it's mixed out there, bagged over there. The robot sorted into pallets. It's wrapped, gets put right here and ready for shipping all over the United States. So, so cool. Got your souvenir? Yes. I'm not taking a picture. Oh, dang. <laughs>